What up, world? Alright, we're back to do some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are currently on day 53. 53 days, man. We have been here a while. Still so much to do. So many Koroks to find. A bit more on the side adventures or side quests. One of the two, it's like... I forget which one's which. I, I finished one set of them. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Gato. Start software. Alright, so... Last one I did last night was the ancient city of Gordonia with a question mark. Gorondia, I keep saying Gordonia. Getting a little dyslexic on that one, aren't I? So where am I at? So the Gorons, Summerstone, cash in on Rapin Flint, Bedrock Bistro, okay, or somewhere. Stable, over here. To the Bistro, away! Sneeze. I guess I haven't been back here since I uh, fixed the whole marbled rock roast incident. I know it's digital, but that warm water looks good right about now. Yep. Sweet purple ruby. That is a Goron with glasses. I have not seen that before. Mm. It's a shame, but it looks like the marbled rock roast isn't on the menu anymore. I took a detour from my travels and came all this way to try it, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, my apologies for the delayed introduction. The name's Gomo. I travel the world, sampling every rock under the sun. I suppose that's why I'm known as Gomo the Goromond. What's that? Why have you any flint to spare? Inside some flint is a rare and especially delectable ripened flint. Ooh. If I could have any ripened flint you find, I'd pay you a thousand rubies per piece. Ripened flint looks like normal flint, and you don't know one way or the other if it's ripened until you try eating it. Oh, oh yes, there can be no doubt that delicate, earthly aroma. You have some, do you not? Ooh. There's no telling whether or not it's ripe and flint until I eat it. How much will you provide me with? If I, should I have done 100? A polite way to enjoy it is to roll it silently beneath the tongue, allowing it to dissolve. Hmm? Oh me, oh my. <gasps> what have we here? It's ripe and flint! Sharp edges that bite at the tongue, a gravelly mouthfeel with particulate that sticks between the teeth. There can be no doubt this is indeed authentic ripened flint. Here are your thousand rubies, as promised. I look forward to a stupendous relationship with you. So is it like a gamble thing? Like the more flint I provided, the higher chance I'll get a thousand? Where's my flints? There, I have 480. Ooh. 
So what if I do 20? Hmm. What have we here? Alas, it's only normal flint. Ripened flint is incredibly rare. Eat a hundred and you still may not find even one, so this isn't too surprising, really. I shall spare no expense for ripened flint. I'd be thrilled if you brought me more to test out. Luckily, there's a workaround. Save your game before giving go mode the flint, then hand over a batch of 20 or 50 flint. Choose 50 if you want to avoid having to reload your game several times. And now we got it on the first try, so we don't need to do any kind of trick or anything like that. Alright, next side adventure. Side quest. Mission. Meat for meat. Rock roast or dust. I have to talk to Cook. Welcome to Bedrock Bistro. Ours is the finest restaurant in Hyrule, specializing in gourmet roasts. Whether you're a Goron or Hylian, I have every confidence you'll be salivating for more. If you're hankering for a steak, please order directly from the grill. Oh. I have to say, I'm relieved you're a Hylian. Right now, Rock Roast is in short supply, and I don't know if I have enough to keep up with demand for the Gorons. Ah. I can't go get supplies myself at the moment, so I'm in a bit of a bind. Rock Roast or Dist? said that if you bring Chef Cook a rock roast, he'll treat you to a special dis dish. Special dist. Hey. hey, it's good to see you again. Aww. Thanks again for your help when I was stuck in those ruins over in Farron. If you to come by, I'd sure be hungry by now. Oh. Anyway, after that, after that, I met up with my friends to wrap up all the Skyview Tower maintenance requests. We stayed in all sorts of places, but we kept hearing about the incredible food at Bedrock Bistro. The timing was perfect, so I had to come give it a try. Ah. Wow, I definitely recommend it. I can't wait to tell Salson and Bilson how good it is. Oh. Salson is a friend from work. We started climbing Death Mountain together, but he wanted to continue on to the Goron Hot Springs, so we split up. Uh -huh. I told him there were plenty of hot springs around, but he wasn't having it. Nope, only special springs for him. Ah. I would like to spend some time off with Salson and Bilson. Oh. Bilson is a friend from work. He's a Rito carpenter. If you're looking for him, keep an eye out for his headband. I invited him, but he's a picky eater. Said he wasn't interested. Mm -hmm. He's a stubborn one. Even if he's starving, there are some things he won't eat. He flew off south, saying something about eating fish. Eesh. Where do I get rock roast from? Yeah, I just, if I talk to him again, he'll probably give you a hint. Rock roast is the greatest thing to happen to Hyrule. Yes, indeed, it is the finest of edible delicacies and a necessity for us Gorons. Mm. Put down some tracks so we can load up on stock easily. But even with the tracks, it can be a challenge for Gorons to collect rock roast. Mm. I don't have any rock roast as far as I know. <laughs> See, you don't have any rock roast, do you? Well, if you happen upon some and bring it my way, I'll treat you to our special dish. So he said that he put tracks down to get it. So I'm assuming if I follow the tracks, I will find a cave or something I can get them from. Uh, East Restaurant Cave. It doesn't have a check mark, so that means I never got a bubble frog out of it. Lizards, lizards everywhere. Yep. 
I got so many of these that it's just like my go-to material for this. Guess I didn't want to jump for whatever reason. Assuming this is blocking a hole where the bubble frog is. Rocket. Rocket's red glare. My bombs bursting in air. Came through the night. That our flag was still there. No escape. Looks like a rock roast to me. Oh, sir, that rock roast there. Could I have it? If you give it to me, I'll whip up our special dish just for you. Whoa. Wonderful, thank you so much. To show my gratitude, here's a special dish I promise. Mm. Sir, your pouch is full. Our special dish, which I'd love to provide to you, is seared gourmet steak. Oh. I'll take this rock roast off your hands, so please come back once you've made, spare... you've made space in your pouch. I want to treat you to our special dish.
Superb, here's a special dish of thanks. Seared gourmet steak. The highest quality gourmet meat, just kissed by an open flame. No additional seasonings have been added, which lets the natural flavor of the meat really shine. Oh. Don't have enough rock roast. Bring me more and I'll whoop you up something nice. What happened to the other four fucking rock roasts I had? That's still cooking on the flame. It's piping hot. Rock roast. Minecart land open for business. Southern mine. There's the southern mine. Because it's a fused weapon, I can't take it. Should have just stayed on the mech. Made sense. Yeah, it's gonna tip. Oh, no. oh, we were able to get up. Get up! Get on up! Like a sex machine. Let's see if we could. Going down is the problem. Otherwise, it would have had the mask ping me, but it looked like such a strange place for a random little rock to be.
motherfucker throwing barrels at me. I'm thinking he's Donkey Kong or something. I guess his ship hit down or something. Well, he landed right next to me. Eyeball. Eyeballs are very useful when I'm fighting Gleox. Honestly, yeah, it kind of does feel a little cheap when I'm using those homing arrows against the flying enemy. Well, you know what? Fuck them, because flying up in the air the way they do is uh, kind of cheap if you ask me. I went the wrong way. I need to go west. Keys than that. It's always good when you find those key swarms because if you can kill a bunch, you get a lot of eyeballs. Definitely like using this thing a lot more than a horse. <laughs> Peter Griffin Garrett. A Peter Griffin laugh. <laughs> nah, that's a shit one. <laughs> I, I can't do it right if I'm trying to also keep my voice a little low. to talk to somebody named Beige. 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 They'll scatter if I come near them, but all these spirits and robot over here will uh, not do anything to alert them. Makes sense. Shoo, are you following me again? You're so you're sure pushy. I like that, so I'll let you in on a little something. It's actually a secret to everyone. <laughs> I have discovered the home of the Gorons of old, Gorondia. Guess what else? There are Gorondians there too. Today's the day. I'm gonna go play with those Gorondians inside the cave. Pretty soon you'll see us zipping down those tracks together. It's 
an actual cave here? Or... I guess so. Remember there was like a pass or something. Ah, attention stamina. Southern mine. Customer. We got a customer here. You ready, little brothers? Here we go. Are these the guys from the oh. fucking, um... Gut Rock, I think it was? I think it had to do with, um... The Rook's Champion Ballad from Breath of the Wild. There were, like, uh, three Gorons that were, like, doing some kind of endurance training or some shit. From morning <laughs> till morning. Ooh. It smiles all the time. Hey, Gambetta, what's your face doing? Get it together. Mm. My face? What about your face? Mm. Not in front of the customer, brothers. Less bickering, more smiling. Mm. Okay, let's take it from the top. Ready, and... Mm. Morning. Mm. Till morning. Ooh. It smiles all the time. Mm. Welcome to Minecart Land. Mm. Where minecarts mean smiles. Ah. Brought to you by the one and only Unoboko. Mm. Rules are simple. You ride a minecart down the track, pop as many targets as you can within the time limit. You want to use arrows to pop the targets. Oh, and don't leave the cart or game's over. Pop five or more targets before the time runs out, and you win. <clears throat> to keep things fair, you'll be riding our dear old cart. No outside carts allowed. Put the car on the track, get in, and start smiling. <laughs> to celebrate a grand opening, your first ride is free. <laughs> we'll even give you ten arrows on the house. Nice. Mm. Come your face, you're doing it again. You're gonna scare away the customer, look at me, you gotta smile. Hey! Like this. Mm. Please don't mind them. Mm. Now it's time to hop in the cart. This is a self-service kind of joint, so you'll be the one to put the cart on the tracks. And cart land open for business. I can't save here? Or do I have to wait for the side quest thing to pop? Where are you going? The game's over if you leave. Alright, so I, because I'm in the middle of it, I guess. Are you ready to roll? Then let the game begin. Wait a sec while I get all the targets set up. Here you go. They look closer than they actually are. I feel like I did a shit job there. It's time to announce the results. Looks like you hit a total of 12 targets. Perfect smile. Incredible, you popped every single one. Oh no, I was so surprised I forgot to smile. Here's your prize, offered up with the biggest of smiles. Oh boy, I got a red ruby. That's definitely not worth the arrows I used. Minecart land, open for business. Your smile still has room to grow. But lucky for you, we've prepped the high speed course geared toward up and comers. If you're interested, come talk to me instead of my brother. Now I can save. Yeah. My game's a little different from Bages. It's custom crafted for a slightly tougher challenge. It'll put your rapid fire shooting to the test. You win? Yay! So quick! Fast response time you've got there. Good stuff. Let's speed through the rules. 
You'll hop on the cart, roll down the tracks, and shoot seven targets as quick as you can. No getting out once you're rolling. Pop all the targets when the minute 20 and you win. Mm. To keep things fair, you'll be riding our dear old cart. No outside carts allowed. Put the minecart on the track. Get in and get going. Ah. This round's free, and I'll even throw in some arrows for maximum fun. Now hop on the minecart for some high-speed thrills. You ready for some speed? Let's go. I'll get the targets ready. Time to roll. Seriously, this one's also... Ooh. You've hit seven. That's game. Ah. And let's hear the results. Your time for this run was Ooh. 32 seconds. Yay. So fast. Fantastic. You cleared that course in the blink of an eye. Hang on a sec. I was so stunned I forgot to smile for you. Ooh. Here's your prize. Happy face and all. At least it's more than 20. And cart land, quick shot course. Ah. You beat both my brother's courses. You're pretty incredible, you know that? Watch you handle that minecart gave me an idea for a course of my own. I'm gonna set it up. Ooh. A death mountain. In fact, I think I'll go set it up now. Come give it a try when you can. Is that the next step? Yep, looks like it. Well, at least it's near the shrine. That's gotta be so horrifying for somebody to witness. Like, they just see this guy just dematerialize into Blue Wisp and just fly, float away like that. Like, I, I gotta be giving some people PTSD every time I do that in front of them. It up or down? I want to say it's up. Makes sense because you just ascend here and then talk to the guy. Yep, there he is. I just knew you'd come. Turn Death Mountain into a minecart course is a pretty groundbreaking idea, if I do say so myself. I was hoping it could be Minecart Land's main attraction, but the idea is so groundbreaking that I haven't drawn a single customer. Just make sure you my very first. Ah. This is a super hard course only for serious carters. Since you cleared my brother's courses, I imagine you'll take it on with a smile. You uh wouldn't have come all this way if you weren't going to play, right? Ooh. Well, I'm going to play. I knew you would. Huh. Rules are simple as can be. Choose at least eight targets while riding the cart down Death Mountain and reach the goal within the time limit to win. I do tend to pick up a lot of speed racing down a mountain, though, so watch out for that. Oh. You'll be using my personal minecart. No other carts allowed. Put the minecart on the track, get in, and the game will begin. To celebrate your mountain climbing courage, I'll let you play for free. I'm not skimping on the arrows either. You've earned them. Get as ready as you need to. What the fuck? You ready to go? Alright, let's start the game. Give me just a minute to get the target set up. Have a good time. God damn it.
That should have been a hit. Fuck you. Off. Oh my god. How many targets did I need to hit? Goal. Time to announce the results. This time, we hit 14 targets. I didn't think anyone would be able to clear my course. Gotta say, you're incredible. Here's your prize. All right, I still got the fabric, so that's all I cared about. Pretty cool, huh? You should take that cloth southeast to the dye shop at Nintendo Village. I'm sure they can make it even cooler. Yeah. I'll always be happy to welcome you back to Minecart Land. Even happy if you shock us with the highest record. Just keep getting fucking baited by the positioning of the targets, because it looks like they're a lot closer than they actually are. Let's see here. Picture land, foothill. Fell into a well. Central Hyrule. Central Hyrule. I could be anywhere at Rebanoa Bridge. Okay, let's see here. A lot of I gotta clear out the uh, missing map locations, I guess. Save. Rebanoa. I never killed the Gleak in Coliseum, I think. Come on down to Colomo. That's where we wanna go. Way down in Colomo. the Hylia River. These bridges. Making a campfire. To start a campfire, simply set some wood ablaze. You can use a torch or some flint to do just that. You can also use fire fruit. You can use a fire imbued weapon. All kinds of different things. The sky is the limit. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble. Here I come to save the day! <laughs> I had to stop the uh, planes from burning. So luck, so we meet again. Ah. Work of a dedicated treasure hunter never ends, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. Lately, I've been really interested in the rubble and stones falling from the sky. I've even been dreaming about them. My latest dream? Uh. This big stone came tumbling out of the sky and hit the ground, and then suddenly started to float back upward. 
grabbed onto it, and before I knew it, I had arrived at an island in the sky, full of treasure. Can you imagine? Anyway, that was basically the whole dream. Too good to be true, of course. Why would I dream about a falling stone flying back up into the sky? Dreams are so strange. I better get going, but I hope we meet again. So work. I rebate on my arrows. Got a base on a talus. Yep, yeah, it is. How does that not hit the arm? put my fierce deity set on. Dummy. I got to take this off after I got off Death Mountain. Tell us over there. Or said bridge. <laughs> I 
guess I wasn't high enough to let me dive. this one yet. Rubies! Glorious rubies! Firing main cannon. Money's on the one to the south, but might as well go check the one north as well. went into the drink there. I gotta waste an arrow, come if I can just run up and smack it.
You know, Palmer's not as bad today. I think it's because I was chewing gum last night while I was drinking it, and it was just fucking with the aftertaste. Cave here. I wonder if the cave and the well are connected. Ah. Oh my gosh, already? I've waited so long- I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. My own darn fault. I'm down- I'm he It's my own darn fault I'm here, though. Drop something down the well and climbed in after it. Uh. We even had a ladder, but yeah, it broke when I tried to climb up. Then on top of that, my best buddy I go everywhere with should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept right on going. Huh. Come on, man, really? Sorry, not your fault. Can't tell you how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Uh. I mean, the broken part is still here, so we technically could fix it. Dang later, if the dang ladder weren't too high to reach. Just you and me now, stuck down at the bottom of a well. Not the worst place to call home, I guess. Ah, huh. wait, it's fixed. Did you do that? You're incredible. Now, let's get out of here already. <laughs> Man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life. Seriously. I really owe you, so here, take this. It's got some rubies. Oh. I'm going to catch up to my buddy Jor and head to Foothill Stables so we can apply for the Zonai survey team. What? You met Jorah, and sitting there in his underpants, you say? Ah. See you around. Thanks again, and hey, don't go fall into any wells, okay? As I immediately go jump back into the well. Rip. Rip. 
It's be a popular spot for Koroks. Is my mask going off again? Nah, I must have been hearing the one floating. I should have got closer. Six rubies. I have a Noah Bridge Cave. Stood a chance. Soldier Spear Halberd. Nope, oh, thanks, Tulin. You had one job and you couldn't even do that. Bomb flowers. Oh, took me all the way out. Can I just go? Oh, there's no cavern, it's just that hole. Alright, let's see here. Fell into a well. Abandoned labor. This goes cave of chess. Steady. No, oh, wait, I'm missing one. The treasure hunters, Raru Hillside. Fuck is Raru Hillside? We go. 
go. Play north. Gotta make a new hovercraft anyway, so might as well teleport over. I'm gonna get through the uh, side quests pretty quickly here. I might actually be able to finish them tonight. Then we have Koroks. I'm not looking forward to that part. Really not. So somewhere up here I find a quest guru. shit for damage. <laughs> Just because I see a random monster does not mean I need to stop what I'm doing and go kill it. <laughs> Sounds so weird when I'm flying in the rain. Maybe a cave entrance or something nearby. 
These are all tar pits, I believe. I think I found it. Oh, I don't know if the quest... Ah, I see a tent. This might be the quest. see a well over here. Uh, Almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and... Hmm. Oh. You've got this stack. That treasure is as good as ours. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec, Prison. Oh, it's you. You know it's rude to eavesdrop, right? Uh. Huh? What are you, how long have you been there? We found that chest first. It's ours. I mean, it's in a bottomless bog of certain doom with no place to put your feet, so you probably can't get to it anyway. But any hidden treasure that's maybe certainly definitely in there is ours. Uh? Chris, and cut it out. Uh... Sorry, Dak, it just slipped out. Uh... Eesh, I need to think about how to get that treasure, so do your job and keep watch, got it? As you can see, we're working here, so buzz off. Treasure hunters. <laughs> Bombflower. Uh, almost got it. Almost. Maybe we can get the treasure chest if we... Huh? Oh. Hey, person, where'd the treasure go? Ah. The treasure? Oh, he took it. Huh? What? Weren't you keeping watch? Huh. I was keeping watch. That guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. Uh. You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch means you have to do more than just watch. Hmm. <sighs> Oh well, can't get them all. No use crying about it. You're pretty good, you know? You might just make it as a treasure hunter. Uh -huh. Wait, don't tell me you're after Misko's treasure, too. Surely you've heard the rumors that Misko hid pieces of their famous clothing collection across Hyrule. Problem is, so did everyone else. Every would-be treasure hunter in the kingdom is out to expand their wardrobe. Oh. We think the clothes are hidden in the caves that appeared during the upheaval. Like up ahead in the Elden region, you, you couldn't really explore back when Death Mountain was erupting. 
Now everything's cooled down. The place is all rocky and rugged. There are probably tons of secret caves perfect for... There are probably tons of secret caves perfect for hiding treasure. Listen, what are you doing? <laughs> um, oops. Definitely forget he said anything. Oh boy, more mire. Slab bright blossoms down here. Bright bloom. I keep saying bright blossoms for whatever reason. Alright, let's see here. Side quests. Treasure hunters. This goes cave of chess. Your steedy twins, pirate, everyone's misgoes, treasure of awakening. Apparently, there's two more to go. I have all the pieces of the awakening set, but I guess I got them from um, Amiibos. Ancient Columns Cave, Rain Highlands. It's over this way somewhere, I think. It's in the ancient columns cave. Oh, there was an inscription back in the cave I was supposed to read. Alright, let's uh, go over there and we'll get the next quest. Is it? I, I was just at it. Ancient Columns Cave. I don't... Oh, yeah, we just jump from here. I keep forgetting that I have Sky Islands that I can teleport to as well. I make Koroks are in the Sky Islands. Monster tips, boss but goblins. They command a team of goblins in battle. It's cold up here. Just put the flame weapon on for... Oh, apparently that's not enough. Can I find a sweet point? It's in like the middle or something?
it's a three, that's why it was so tanky. Fifty-four seconds. Kinda wanna wait for that to come off just so I can use the uh construct core. Not it's not a core, it's a um can't remember what it's actually called. Aren't I an imposing figure? The leaf mass really throws off the enemies. What's the movie with the guy on Mars? John Carter? I think I was saying John Connor the other day. I knew that was wrong. That's fucking uh, Terminator. to the wrong hill. Visitor from afar, should your thirst for treasure remain unslaked, read on. Discovered the trousers of awakening in a strange land and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to claim them. In the ruins of Hyrule Field, where warriors once tested themselves in battle, offer your soldiers claymore to the two sculpted soldiers. The sword will point the way to my treasure. Solve my riddle, find my treasure, and earn my respect. Ruins of Hyrule Field, where warriors once tested themselves in battle. I mean, I would assume the Colosseum ruins, right? Head over to the Colosseum. I think it's that way. Some about offering a sword to two statues, it said. Make sure I didn't have a marker over there still. This guy, this little mini game is annoying.
Dude! What the fuck? Might die to the fall damage. Get fucked, get fucked. Okay, that's bitch. Came here in the beginning of the game and that thing fucking uh, had me leave, that's for sure. I did not have the capability to kill it back then. <laughs> Fight a silver lion landing day than the damn Gleox. It's just annoying to deal with. I think I like a chest would have spawned or something after killing that thing. Maybe one did, I don't know. There's a great sword right there. I mean, so assume I have to. Yep, and that's gonna open up a hole. I think we had the treasure sensor on, otherwise I would have been running around like a lunatic. Visitor from afar, should your thirst for treasure remain unslaked, read on. I discovered the Mask of Awakening in a strange land and have hidden it away. Solve my riddle to make it your own. Hyrule Ridge and Mudfoe's land, ruins sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect the southern column's midday shadow to the northern, and the shadow center the way to my treasure will open. Solve my riddle, find my treasure, and earn my respect. That's my good bow. Don't waste those. I can always repair it. It's just, you know, I'd rather not have to if I don't want to. Thematic. Killed a Thunder Galak, and there was a bunch of uh, topazes here. Hyrule Ridge and Ludfo's Land. Ruins sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Ludfo's Land. It's Hyrule. What foe? Mushroom trees, so yeah. So I'm about connecting the mid 
mid-afternoon shadow or something. Hello, Liam James. Thank you for the follow. How you doing tonight? Those land, ruined sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect the southern column's midday shadow to the northern. At the shadow center, the way to my treasure will open. There are so many mushroom trees here, though. <laughs> oh, it's definitely right below that. As it want me to connect shadows. <laughs> Southern column would be this one. I just didn't want to have to climb the again. Should have cut the grass first. times for it to rain, right? Is it raining? No, never mind. It sounded like it was. Shadow to the north. Down 
the Sam Hill, am I supposed to connect the shadow? I don't see anything I can pick up up here. Check the southern columns, midday shadow to the northern at the shadow center, the way to my treasure. Cut these down. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Be a real dick move with those uh, wood columns just despawned. I guess they're spe they're mushroom stalks. need another piece. Ah, some beach. Let's try this again. Yeah. Noon. The shadow should reach now. Ingenuity.
to the one who found my treasure, you've done well to solve my riddle and make it to this place. Your cleverness and cunning have earned you both the treasure and my respect. The Great Bandit Misko. Mask of Awakening. Legend says this mask resembles a hero who explored a mysterious island that one could visit but not leave. Yet it makes one want to wear it, but also not wear it. Shalag, Misko's Treasures of Awakening. I have 15 side quests remaining. Treasure Awakening 3, Terry Races 1, Sequence of Town. Treasures of the Wind. Picture of East Akala Stable. That one right there. I will be right back. Can't do anything right now because of the fucking rain. I'm just gonna sit at the fire real quick, I guess. already knew and, and since I stayed till the fire until night it only pushed the cycle ahead one and it said it was going to be a lightning storm so that would be why it was still raining Yeah. 
Thank you for your continued patronage. Do you want to lodge with us? Ah. Let's bring him back. Nope. Oh. oh, that's right. Did you meet Melania at Bloodleaf Lake to the north? I hear that if he takes a liking to you, he can boost your horse's ability. Or even bring your equine friend back to life. Sounds far-fetched, but it'd be fantastic if it's true. <laughs> How lucky would our stable be if a horse god like that decided to reside here? I can only imagine. Oh. Ah, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? We stable owners are going to be putting paintings on display for everyone to enjoy. The stable association figured it'd be a good idea for us to hang the frames first to get ready. So I did some thinking about what kind of picture I'd like to hang up. Ah. There's this big lake right to the south of here called Octorok Lake. Looks like any other lake at first glance, but when the water level rises, it takes the shape of a monster called an Octorok. That's how it got, that's how it got its name, I suppose. Anyway, I'd like to paint a picture of Octorok Lake when it looks like an Octorok and hang it on the wall. Who knows, with all the monsters showing up lately, maybe it'll help keep them away. Uh, the thing is, I can't exactly leave the stable unattended just to go paint a picture. If I had a picture of, of Octorok Lake in, the oct in its Octorok shape right in front of me, well, I'm sure I could paint it. That is... the sky oh there's this guy Some reason why it's just something going on that way. this fucking rock out of here because it's annoying me. Thank <laughs> you. 
was praying. I would, never would have thought of that. You're also the same guy who decided to put up a sign without securing it first. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. I, I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. I can go to other places, put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. To the sky! I saw a quest mark over there. Oh, Link, do you still have your eye on that empty frame? Guess I could have wanted to counter him. Uh. I could hang a picture of Octorok Lake, but it's in the shape of an Octorok. I just know it helped keep monsters away. Ah, but I don't have the time to go all the way there and paint it, so who knows how this will ever get done. Oh. What? Did you bring me a picture of Octorok Lake in the shape of an Octorok? Can I see it? Aha! This is exactly the picture I asked for. This would really liven up to look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Ooh. Thank you. I have to say, that leak really does look like a big monster. Ooh. Best way to fight monsters is with your own monsters, right? Yeah, I just know this painting is going to protect us. Just give me a moment to whip up a reproduction. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I'm quite good at this. I promise. I know it is perfect for this stable, and it's all thanks to you, Link. Aha, this is just right. Now we'll have a monster of our own to protect us. I tell you, I could paint a picture of Octorok Lake looking like a monster all day. You have an image of the lake that you like better. Bring it by, and I'll use it as an inspiration for a new painting. Show my appreciation, I'm giving you one pony point. Uh. Oh yes, and please, take this too. This dish is a stable specialty. Meat and rice bowl. This dish of rice and lightly seared meat is a mainstay in all throughout Hyrule. Oh. Sounds good right about now. It's... We had rice and shish kebab for dinner. That was 4 a.m. Roughly 10 hours ago. Okay, come on. Got 14 quests left. Used to call a stable. 
Tempra, Chirudo. Here. South of Kala Stable. Alright, where's that one at? This one? Yep. I'm thinking that my next should be the last one I do tonight. Feeling a little burnt out. Wearing the top, bottom, and headwear from the same set can earn you some bonus effects. Provided that they're level 2 or higher. At least most sets. That's where the all-knowing Coco was. Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? Oh. <sighs> Putting on ba -ba -ba -ba. Asked my family what sort of picture we should put up, and we finally decided. Have you seen the Unity Bell in Terrytown over in the east? Oh. The story goes that if two people ring it together, their love will last forever. All sorts of couples pay it a visit. How can their love last for a forever? Terrytown has only existed for five years in this game. Because I helped put it together in Breath of the Wild. So how the fuck does that work? Unless you're doing some kind of time-bending bullshit. Because the most any relationship could have lasted after standing underneath that bell would be five years. And that should have fucking forever. <laughs> some people might say that it is forever, but no, it, it is not. All sorts of couples pay to visit. Anyway, I think it would be nice to paint a picture of the Unity Bell and hang it here at the stable. All four of my daughters think it would look perfect on the wall, too. Mm. But I really need to go see it if I'm going to paint it accurately. And well, work is far too busy for me to get away. Whereas if I had a picture of the bell in front of me, I could just use that as reference. Mm. While I'm over here, I can fiddle around my house. What would happen if I put away one of my weapon displays while I have um, weapons displayed? Would it drop the weapons on the ground, or would it tuck them away in some kind of pocket dimension for storage? Hey, do you have a construction request? I'll start building. Mm. Yeah, I'll get things ready. Just a moment, please. I'll return any board houses to the stable. Ah. Thanks for waiting. We're all set to begin construction. No. Uh. If you need anything, just let me know. Oh. Ah. Oh. How do I store a building? I didn't see an option when I saw it now.
Swap rooms. Please place rooms you don't want outside the room. Oh. Construction is finished. I'll collect the rooms you put there. Hold on to rooms for you. You can ask me to take them out at any time. Anything else you want? Ah. No. Ah. <laughs>
Kinda would be a little easier to do this whole mode if they swapped to like god mode where you're just like looking at it from above. right away. Play my safety inspection, you're good to go. How the fuck is this past safety inspection? Seriously, he's fucking annoying. Oh. 
Added another guard opponents? Okay.
What the fuck happened here? So you don't want to fit. Mm. Leave my safety inspection, you're good to go. <laughs> Enjoy your fabulous new dream home. Guided opponent to the paddock. If you want to take it out, please call for me again from the paddock.
Link, it appears that you have sufficient power. You should not seek to increase this any further. Don't bring peace to the world. Maybe I should have put the bed on the left side. Do I have enough big Goron swords? I should have put the weapons on this one and then put the bows on the, uh... be like an option to have, put windows in. <laughs> As attaching materials, so I'm assuming it doesn't count if I attach a weapon to a uh, Gerudo guitar.
advance its town. I'm more or less happy with the way the house looks now. I feel like I still improve it though. I don't need a goddess statue anymore because I'm at full power, so I could always just get rid of that and add more weapon rooms to kill shit. Quarter. Wow, I spent a lot more time on that house than I realized, I guess. I don't know. Last time I looked at the time, it was still around 4 a.m. 380 Korok seeds. That's 380 Korok seeds that I have not used guides for. I have not used a guide to find, too. Am I... I would like to get enough Korok seeds on my own that I got all the uh, inventory expansions, and I'm pretty close there. How many shields do I got? Uh, I need like about 100 Korok seeds. Take a look at this. Oh, did you bring me a picture of the Unity Bell? Can I see it? Uh, Aha! This is exactly the picture I asked for. This would really liven up to look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Oh. Thank you. It sure brings back the memories. You see, I did ring it once. My wife and I rang it together, in fact, and here we are, still happy together, all thanks to that bell. Now just give me a moment to whip up a reproduction. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'm quite good at this, I promise. Don't worry, I be a painter. Stable Owner Painters Association of Hyrule. Oh. I knew it, it's perfect for the stable, and it's all thanks to you, Link. Ah, it's almost as if I can hear the bell's happy ring. I hear lots of couples have held their wedding ceremonies there. If I ever capture a different picture of the uni bell, I'm happy to make a new painting. Oh. What you need to do is show me the picture so I can use it as a reference. Show my appreciation, I'm giving you one pony point. Oh, oh yes, and please take this too. This dish is a stable specialty. Uh, hold on, it doesn't seem like you have room in your pouch. I was thinking I'd give you a special dish from our stable, but Ooh. I hate not being able to thank you properly after you've done so much for us. I'll give you your gift once you've made room to carry it. Just come see me when you're ready. Yeah. So until I get his food, apparently, uh... Oh. I want a thank you gift. Ah. Link, are you here to pick up the reward for helping put pictures in the stable frames? Yes, then here it is, a token to show our thanks. Fry meat stew, letting the large portions of choice cuts of meat simmer brought out their savoriness. Oh. I'm happy to swap the painting in the frame for a different one. If you have an image you like, please just let me know. Ah. Thank you for a truly splendid picture. Please, feel free to use the stable whenever you want. Right, so, we got 13 more quests, and I guess we'll pick up tomorrow on that. Pop a save real quick. What is this? What's new in special controls? I guess I just haven't looked at this. Oh yeah, Amiibos. I haven't used those in like a week at least. Controller away. Alright, let's go find somebody to raid and I am going to call tonight. Uh, it's like Alex RG Twitch Gamer playing Final Fantasy 16. I'd play Final Fantasy 16 if, you know, 
a release on something besides the PS5. I'm sure it'll come to Steam eventually. Which command real quick. Alright, send Raid over to Alex. He is playing Final Fantasy 16. Play the world. <laughs> 